Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. This is the day after Thanksgiving. So I want y'all to get ready with me. I'm getting ready to hit the streets. So I'm going to try to make this quick. So I'm going to be putting on the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear liquid foundation. I've had this before years ago. What color is this? I have it in the color maple. It comes in a pump bottle. Got a pump. I like to use the flat butt beauty blender. I don't wet it. Never been used before, so I have to prime it. Okay. That's a match. Get under these eyes. That's they so dark. You know, I've been missing in action for a while. Since I had uh, COVID about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago. I don't have it anymore, but I ain't felt, felt like doing nothing, nothing at all. I act like I ain't got no channel. But I've been missing doing my videos. I just ain't felt like doing them. I said, oh Lord, don't let my honeys leave me. But so far, so good. Y'all been good sticking by me. Yesterday was kind of hectic doing the cooking. I hadn't been cooking that much. Else I think I would have filmed. I think that's what you come to my channel mainly for anyway, cooking. I'm using my different gadgets. That's what I'm thinking. Tell me if I'm wrong. What do y'all like to see me do the most? You know, yesterday's uh, Thanksgiving video, that thing was <clears throat> about 46 minutes long. I had to dwindle it way down, so it's still long. But I think I did a good job editing. Uh, it was super long. Because when I'm uh, doing certain takes, I film some and then I go away and then I film again. It don't seem like it's that long until I start editing. I said, oh my goodness. And I'm one of the few people that love to edit. But trying to work magic, trying to dwindle that down to 30 minutes, which is still long, but it's better than what it was. That's a good match, ain't it? Matches my neck, my chest. I'm gonna look right until I put some color on my face. Put some blush on. Um, I'm going to tone it down because I'm going to put powder on what I need. Eyebrows. Where's that little spooky thing? Oh, I put some henna in my hair, y'all. Some dark brown henna. I used a henna cream. <clears throat> Cause I ain't got time to be mixing up, you know, the powder, the henna powder, and then letting it sit on my hair for a while, and then I have to rinse out all that grit. I found some henna cream. It's very easy. Just squeezed it out, shook the bottle up, squeeze it out the bottle, put it on. I had to put on gloves because I didn't want my hands stained. 
and then just massage it in there, put a shower cap on, and let it stay on for almost two hours. And I did, I did all my hair. Usually when I tint my hair, I just do the silver edges. I did it all. It, it uh, made my hair more manageable. Like it really conditioned it, but I did use a conditioner after I rinsed the henna out. So I never had henna in my hair before. Okay, I'm not using no stencil. I'm just going to use this brush and draw me some eyebrows. I started to hit on my eyebrows. I said, no, nah, let me leave well enough alone. I wind up blind. We had a good time yesterday. Family and friends. And one of my guests, my guests brought me a, an orchid. Go ahead and show it to you. Beautiful. I've always admired orchids, but I never thought to get myself one because I heard that they're very finicky. You have to take care of them just right as they're going to die. So, my granddaughter says she's had an orchid and it lasts her over a year. So, maybe I'll be all right. It looks quite dark to me. Let me show you this orchid. It's so pretty. I got it sitting right here. I don't know how much light it needs, and it's sitting right under. My chandelier on my dining room table. Look at that. I'm going to take the tape off yet. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? It looks artificial. It's real, y'all. Yeah. pot. And it says, uh, this is a premium orchid. It only needs three ice cubes once a week. Put it in the dirt. So, I'm going to read up on orchids. And they're on stakes, wooden stakes in here. So, I think it's gorgeous. You know how you're supposed to bring a gift or something when you go to somebody's house for dinner? I mean, I've always been taught that, but I've never done it. So, she brought me a gift, y'all. I was shocked, surprised, happy. And I love it. And it's gorgeous. And I see another bloom about to open up. Look at that. See that bulb right there. Y'all see that? I'm going to read up on it before I take the paper off. So I'll see what it needs. Okay. Back to my makeup. Put some powder on my face. Tone down this blush. We're using a finishing powder by Black Radiance. And I have used this by itself. Tone down these eyebrows. Okay. Use the soft focus <clears throat> by Black Radiance in the creamy bronze finish. Okay, what I need. Some lashes. Don't want to put lashes on today. Mm -mm. Let me get my mascara. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, I need some eyeshadow. Lately, I've been using the Earth Tones, the neutral eyeshadow. This is by Wet n Wild. Mm 
me hurry up. <clears throat> Put the light color on first under right on my brow bone. Then put on like a taupe color on the lid. Now I'm going to use the <clears throat> brown color. I like a little smokiness right there. And then I frame the eye with this. You know, hit that crease. Oops. Wrong color. Okay, that's it. I'm going to blend it. So the blending I do. Okay, I need some liner. <clears throat> I haven't had makeup on in a while. Like I said, I ain't feel like doing nothing. Once I get up and get myself together in the day, you know, in the morning. But it's putting on makeup and wigs and stuff. Okay, how to do. This is the Eye Method Beauty. Uh, mess, what you call it? Eyeliner. It has a wing on one side, but I just make my own wing. And this is the Eye Method Beauty Eyebrow Pomade. They sent this stuff to me to review. I already reviewed it, but I like it. I was buying it before they gave it to me, so I really like it. Uh, Put some lashes on. I'm gonna use the Kalalis lash cl clusters. They're in the 12 millimeter length. Okay. What is that? I'm gonna use the alcohol wipe to wipe off the tweezers. So the lash don't stick to it. Come on out. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna use my lash cluster adhesive on the underside of my lash. like a tiny mascara wand for this lash glue so don't use the regular strip lash glue this is for lash clusters it's on there it's quick y'all You just use two or three lash clusters. 
for each eye. Some people go all the way down. Use five. I don't need all that. It's like it full at the ends. Much better. Then I'll go off camera to do my other eye. Okay, I'm putting my headband on. Pop my half wig on. What's the name of this wig? Dondria. Dondria by Otre. It's a quick weave. It means it's a half wig. What's that? My own hair, you know, tucked under pony ponytail. So, halfway for fit anybody's head. Because you just put it halfway your head. If your head is small enough, you can pull it to the front and comb some hair over it or whatever you want to do. I always uh, pin my wigs, half wigs, at the ear. Now, if I wear a full wig, I wear a wig grip. Keep that wig on there. Pull this close and pin it with a long bobby pin. Let's secure. Put it right over the weft. They make the webs much, much thinner than they used to. I started wearing half wigs many years ago. And the webs used to be kind of thick. But I wore a headband then too. So, so I'm officially as cute as I can get today. So I'm going to go on about my business. Walker still coughing. His COVID cough lasts a long time. Mine lasted a couple weeks. Now I don't hardly cough anymore. Okay. So, I want to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. You all have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay. Bye.